Hey everyone, so TGS is right around the corner. It actually starts on the 20th of September, so this coming Saturday, and runs through to the 23rd. In this video we're going to discuss what we're likely to see come TGS from Jump Force. Uh, there's been quite a lot of news and rumours as of late, so we're going to be going through what we're likely to see during this presentation. So Spike Chansoft have a 45 minute presentation slot on the 20th, which is at their main stage, starting at 2.30pm JSD, which is... 10.30 p.m. PDT on the 19th and 5.30 a.m. GMT. So we'll actually be asleep and also at EGX that day. Um, we're going to get some Jump Force footage there, um, providing Bandai are okay with us filming. Yeah, so we'll be sure to post a roundup video of TGS later on that weekend, but it might come Sunday just because we'll be at EGX all day on Saturday. So recently there's been rumours slash leaks regarding the release date of the game. We have two people, one of them being Yonko, the other Spangle, who both have quite reliable sources that are telling them February 2019 and more specifically 15th of February 2019. Whether this is true or not, we don't yet know. However, the, with these leaks so close to TGS, this heavily implies that we'll be getting a confirmation of release date during this presentation. Most likely it's going to kick off with a new trailer with the release date at the end of the trailer, or it's going to be at the end of the presentation showing off a final trailer or something like that. Now, we don't know how to feel about this, as we all know that 2019 was the placeholder year, usually implying that it will be Q2 or later in the year. Could this be Bandai Namco wanting to push this out before their fiscal year ends? Or is the game genuinely that close to finish and fans will get a 100% complete game that was intended from the start without any real bullshit DLC? Like we get the characters that we'd expect to see come launch and not added later on. So Koji Nakajima, the producer of the game, has heard fan criticism about the lack of confirmed female characters. Uh, so we might also see some confirmed during this presentation. 45 minutes is a lot of time for them to show us all sorts of Jump Force related content. We can expect to see new characters, Yugi's playstyle, story mode details, online details and maybe some more stages as well. And recently with the confirmation of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku being in this game, this then verifies the leaks of the V-Jump magazine that were posted last week. Now this may imply that we'll be getting more Dragon Ball Super characters. During this presentation, will split screen be announced? Like we said, 45 minutes is a long time to demo and present your game. If you think about most E3 conferences, they are between 60 and 90 minutes long. They cover dozens and dozens of games. Whereas this is a 45 minute demo for just Jump Force. We're hoping co-op will carry over from the previous game and that they confirm it either way here or even 2v2 online battles like the previous game. Um, we're hoping this will be an info blowout and that it will cover a lot that the game has to offer. I'm sure we'll be seeing quite a few new characters announced and shown off. And lastly we'll probably get in some story mode details. Depends on how much info they're willing to give, but maybe we'll have some more information on Light's involvement with the game and how he plays into this. Maybe they have an original character that's the main antagonist for this game that's bringing everyone to Earth and crossing these universes together. All in all, if the leaks of Feb 2019 are legit, then I'm sure we'll see Bandai and Spike gearing up for marketing, showing off a lot more in the short span of time. So hopefully they still have a lot to show off. The character roster so far isn't too big, and J Stars was 50 plus, plus supports, plus co op, etc. etc. So let's hope that they still have plenty to show off. Anyway, that pretty much sums this video up. Uh, let us know what you think what you guys think and what you hope to see at TGS this year. We'll be sure to do a TGS roundup video sometime in the weekend as we said before. So apologies that it might be a little bit late but thanks for watching and please like if you enjoyed this video and consider subscribing. See you later. Yeah.